Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, Red for short. I'm gonna read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. This is called Extravagance. I once heard of a man who, on his birthday, always made a point of giving other people presents. It was a good idea. A gift is a way of expressing love and of expressing gratitude. It is a good thing that there are such things as birthdays and Christmases because it reminds us of the duty of telling people that we are grateful to them and that we love them. I am not one of those people who inveigh against the so-called commercialism of Christmas time and who think that such days as Mother's Day are just a ramp of the shopkeepers. Anything that reminds us to show our love and gratitude is more than worthwhile. Quite a lot of people who complain about these days just can't be bothered giving a present and really have rather a guilty conscience about it. Um, yeah, they have a guilty conscience, so they complain about it. You see, the great, greatest value of these gifts lay precisely in the fact that they were in one sense useless. The value of a present lies in the fact that it is an extra, and dare I say it, the more extravag extravagant it is, the better. That is what Jesus felt. Surely John told us the loveliest story in the Gospels when he told us about the woman who anointed Jesus's feet with a perfume, John 12, one through eight. The perfume could have been sold for 300 silver pieces, about 15 pounds in modern money, a colossal sum, a denarius, one of these silver pieces, about four pence, was a working man's wage for a day. That file of perfume cost almost a year's wages. There were extremely sensible people there who were horrified at the extravagance and who thought that the perfume should have been sold and the proceeds given to the poor. No one loved the poor more than Jesus did, but he didn't think that. It was the very extravagance of the gift, the very fact that it was fantastically generous and reckless that went straight to his heart. And he promised that all the world would know about the lovely thing that this woman had done. That's a good one. And, um, it reminds me to continue to give and um, I refuse to be although I'm tempted to be regretful of how much of because I don't I don't have it anymore how much of my uh, money from my inheritance from my father that I that I gave away um, but I I refuse to be sorry and I just I feel like I need to see it more as like that gift to Jesus because um, I won't regret it. I gave it to those I cared about and um, and yeah. Uh, hopefully someday <laughs> I'll receive some gratitude for that. Um, 
and I'm grateful more and more um, for my parents. Thanks, Mom and Dad. And thank you, God. And don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. And be extravagant in your giving. Bye.